Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully get our which user role will be as an admin, then that will be get all that our admin data, right? Great. Now in this video, I want to do, I want to add some of the admin process will be simple. I hope you already know what exactly the things we have to do because I have already done this type of another similar job. Like in our all admin, that is one of the route. I want to do and to create another new route as a add admin. Okay, now this type of one of the route I want to create. If you go to our web route, and uh, now better I copy it and after that I paste it. Now that will be our name as a add admin. I want to update that as a add admin. That will be as a add admin. I want to create another new method as a add admin. And also I want to update this route in our sidebar. That will be as a add admin. Okay, I simply update it. Great. Now, if you go to our web route, now we have to create this method as a add admin. Now we have to create it in our admin controller. If you go to that admin controller here, after that, I name it as a public and then function method name will be as a add admin. Great. That will be and method. And here we have to do, as I told you, we have to now assign some of the role that I have created in our role table. Now we have to load all that our role and we have to assign this role for a specific some of the admin user right so that is the reason i want to do and to take all that our role i take one of the variable as a role so i want to access that our role model and with this model first of all i want to, do and to get all that our data and now i want to do and to visible it in our return one of the view page okay sorry that will be as a return view that is a return view in our same folder in our back in to the pages then i have created as an admin and then i want to create another new page that will be as a add admin and then here i want to pass that our compact data which i have already take all that are roles i take the things with this variable here i simply pass it right now when you access that role also you have to do have to support this role right which i have already done in our controller that means I have already done this job in our, if you go to that HTTP and then back in into the role controller, okay, into the role controller, you can see that is our role and permission, but I want to take both of these. And now I want to do and to support it in our admin controller, I support it. Now that is our role here, I successfully loaded that our model. So now by this model, we are able to get all that our role data, I take the things with this variable and here I pass it. Now we have to create our page as a add admin in our admin folder that means in our back end and that is our pages admin folder i want to now create on the new file click as a save as name it as a add admin dot blade dot php okay blade dot php great so now this page will be just like our um, user that is our agent user add agent user mm, same but i copy everything from here right now and now in our add admin area i want to paste it okay that is also some of the validation i hope you already know how to add some of the validation right now i don't want to discuss about that things with you right now i want to better make it as a clean okay so now one by one we have to update all that our field now that will be as a add admin i name it as a add admin and that will be the our admin name okay i name it as a admin name and also you can use it as a admin username i make it as admin user username username our field name in our database if you go that means in our user table field name here you can see there is a common field name as a name the username the email and then a photo there he will be able to logging and after that logging he'll be able to update password will be needed and then our phone address you can actually add okay mm, great so now i want to do and to name it as an admin username i name that field name as a name and also that will be not that name that will be as a username as per our database field name as a username i want to use so that will be our another field but i copy it okay i copy it and after that i paste it now that will be as an admin user or admin name okay i name it as admin name and this field name i name it as a name great then that will be as a admin email our field name as a email which is fine that will be the admin phone that will be as a phone that will be the admin address our field name as a address and admin password right so that will be the password great now only we have to do here we have to add another extra field that will be for the role 
right because here we have to actually load all that our role so here i want to name it that will be as a role okay role name so that will be the role name so it will be one of the select form select from i have already done this type of job a lot of the time if you go to that our permission add okay into the permission add um, here that is some of the things right now i want to also take it in our role maybe if you go to that our role setup into the role setup add role permission into the add role permission you can see that is one of the select from simple things i want to copy it from to the our role setup add role permission here i have already load this type of another permission i copy it now in our ad admin that is the input field i want to change it here i simply loaded one of the select form okay great now that will be as a select role okay i name it as a select role and role will be which one here i have also passed it by the variable as a role now that will be as a roles as role here it should be load all that our role name and our role id that should be loaded mm, that's all and also here i want to update that our field name i name it as a roles okay that will be as a roles that's all now if you click as a save all and now I want to run that or optimize optimize running successful and now if you go i want to refresh it now i want to go to that our add admin hmm. you can see that is our admin username that um, that is username name email the phone address the admin password and yes you can see all that our role is now successfully loaded in here right great great so now i want to do and to create some of the user that means i want to create some of the admin user and here i want to assign some of the role for a specific this user right so let's do that work that will be a very simple job here i name it as a role here i name it as a password that will be as an address the phone email name and username right and also you can see that is on the form i didn't add any validation i hope you already know how to do this work now i want to create another new route that will be as a store admin okay store admin this type of the route i want to create if you go to our web route now i want to create another new one that will be here i name it as a store admin now that will be as a store okay store admin our url will be as a store admin i want to create another new method as a store admin i want to create this type of one of the method that will be also obviously one of the post method so i make it as a post because of all here you can see i, I want to done to add this data so that will be our method will be as a post now i want to create this type of one of the method as a store admin in our admin controller now if you go to that our admin controller here after that i want to create on the new one that will be a public function method name will be as a store admin great and that will be our and method here we have to pass that our requested data so that is our request and dollar request okay so now i want to take one of the variable as a user i want to create on the new object for our user table so that is our user okay for the user i created on the new object and now one by one i want to pass it so that will be this user i want to access that our database field name as a user name user name will be which one that will be our requested field name requested field one by one now we have to add if you go to our add admin our requested field name i name it as a user name that will be as a username great now one by one i want to add it better i paste it okay so i paste it now that is a username and that is our another database field name i hope you already remember all that our database field name the common field name right there is a name username email password the phone address okay now i want to add it now that will be our another one as a name sorry that will be as a name and name will be our requested field name requested field name i name it as a name and then that will be our another field as a email okay that is our requested field name email our database field name also as a email and then that will be our requested field name as a phone our database field name also as a phone then i want to take that our address so that will be as a address our database field name also as a address so that is our database field name that is our requested field name right and then that is our password i want to update that is a password our database field name as a password and password should be as a hash make password right i hope you already remember this part that will be as a hash 
and there is a hash and that will be as a make that means when this data will be inserted first of all that will be make this all that are requested data to the hash password so that will be our hash requested field name as a password okay great and also make that sure you load that hash if you select it you can see i have already selected that our hash that means that should be work perfectly okay great now it will be make that our requested password as a hash and then i want to do i want to also that will be one of the admin user right so here that is also another two of this field as a role should be now as a admin and his status should be as a active okay i want to do i want to take that our role a role role will be i want to pass on the string value in here that will be as a admin and then our status okay status status should be also one of the string value i want to pass another string value as a active okay that will be inserted that value as a active great and then i want to do and to save it now with this user i want to do i want to save okay that will be save all the data great great and now also there is another field another field here i name it as a roles right here also now we have to do we have to assign that role so if you go to that a uh, spy the official page here you can see that is also you can see that is the assigned role one of the default functions so now here by this function i want to do i want to assign this role so if you want to when you assign this role in here that is also another default uh, table is created as a role has that is a model has a role okay here now that should be inserted some of the data okay i show you i want to first of all use it that will be as assigned role okay i want to use it as a assigned role like if you want to do this work after that save i want to put on the condition as a if condition here i want to first of all get that our requested field our requested field name i name it as a roles now that will be as a roles okay here when it will be if there have any role then i want to do with our user okay with this user i want to call our func default spidey function as a assigned role function i want to do and to simply added that things in here as a assigned role and assigned role will be which one that will be our requested our free roles okay so that will be the requested roles great great so here i simply added and then i want to show some of the notification message okay i simply copy it and after that it should be after the if condition it should be displayed some of the notification as a new admin okay i name it as a new admin user inserted inserted successfully it will be displayed the success message and it will be returned redirect to the one of the route uh, that i have already created i just name that route as a all admin so friend if you already code with me i hope at that point everything should be very clear to you okay so don't just run this code from to the source code make that sure you complete uh, our total code with me and also practice with me i um, also understand what exactly the things i'm trying to uh, cover in particular that project okay great now that will be written director all admin mm, that's all now let's check this out if you know click as a save all and i want to run that optimize again okay i want to run it i want to create another new user as a admin okay here if you go i want to refresh it now on to a store some of the data i just name it as a udemy okay that will be username name will be as a udemy email address i want to use it as a udemy oh sorry udemy at the rate gmail.com at the phone number at that address as a usa and, and password i want to use it as a udemy one two three four five great and then i want to for a specific this udemy user i want to do i want to assign that role like as a manager okay now if you click as a save changes now yes you can see it successfully created that is a new admin user inserted successful that is also by default that is display one of the image and that is our name as a udemy at the rate gmail.com phone number if you go to our user table now that should be inserted on the new user if you go um, here you can see that is a new user is added as a udemy udemy and then also if you go you can see it's inserted that role should be as an admin and that is also as active great 
Great, and now when you assign some of the role for a specific this user, as I told you, that is one of the model has role. And now if you refresh it, yes, you can see. Now in particular, that model area, it's inserted that our user, and that is our role ID as a two. I have selected as a manager, so manager ID, role ID as a two, and model ID, you can see as a 15. That means right now that is our user, user ID in our user table as a 15, that is successfully added. And also there is a role ID added as a two, right? If you go to our role, uh, like that is our role table, into the role table for this user, I have already assigned it as a um, manager, and you can see for the manager, there is a role ID as a two. So that is both of these data is inserted successfully in here. So now it's successfully visible. And now I want to do, I want to display that role in particular that position. Okay, so if you want to now display that role, like that is our um, all admin into the all admin, I have already assigned some of the role for this user. If you go to that or all admin, into the all admin area that is our role now that should be a dynamic here only we have to do i want to run out of the for each loop so that will be the for each i want to make it as an and for each okay so into the for each area here i want to better use all the span okay i want to use it some of the span 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 i want to use some of the class class will be i name it as a bar g and then the bad g okay bar g i want to use it okay i want to use it as a pill but gpl and busy danger busy danger danger i want to use and here i want to display our name so first of all i want to do and to access that our role id is already in particular that position right here that is our role id so now by this we can actually access that our role now if you want to access it i have already get all that our user data because here also that is one of the role id and also that is our model id right so here both of these data in here i take that our user all the data now with this user item okay here i have already take it our all that user data admin user data that I take the things with this item now with this item I want to do and take access that roles so that is our roles roles I make it as as role okay now with this role I want to display our role table field name I want to do and to display with this role I want to display our role table field name as a name now that should be display our name that's all now if you click as a save all and now if you go now that should be display because for this user I have already assigned some of the role Hmm, you can see it's now successfully display that role I have assigned as a manager. <laughs> Great. Great. So now friend, I want to do, I want to complete that our edit functionality, edit update and delete functionality. Okay. So better I want to continue this process in our next video. I want to complete that edit update functionality. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.